talking about the um, London Eye Hospital. Um, why can't you sell the building of the Samaritans Hospital and use the funds to rehabilitate the Eye Hospital, which is very well placed for public transport, very easy to find, it's been there a long time, um, and it is a very specialist centre, which I imagine works very well in spite of the building. Um, and I think it would be very good for patients and staff and the general setup if it could stay where it is. And I can't even imagine how you're going to fit it into St Mary's, which seems to me already bulging at the seams with no space. Um, and also, I'd just like to remind people of the fiasco that cost heaven knows how many trillions of building the new St Mary's. I mean, look what went on there. It was so big. It, gathered its own momentum, it just, it was money down the drain, and we have got nothing for it at all. Um, sorry, I have one, I also have um, a, a question, a, a particular question about Charing Cross, which is my local, which I'm very worried about. Um, we know you're planning to use Charing Cross Hospital for elective surgery, and do you have plans to increase the proportion of elective surgery that is for private patients and if so by how much and how okay. much will therefore be left capacity thank you very much indeed we'll, we'll, we'll try and find out thank you very much okay. indeed bill so um the john did you write that down? The, com the comment was about just remind me uh, I'll, actually, I'll, I'll start from the end i'll start from the end and then, and then okay. yeah. so in terms of um how much was it wasn't actually trillions that was spent on the St Mary's, I mean, I think they found the Paddington Basin um, debacle and the, the amount of money that the um, Public Accounts Committee looked at was £18 million, pounds. and that's how much was spent in terms of the development from memory. It wasn't trillions of pounds, it was millions of pounds. So I'm not, I'm not suggesting that that is. In terms of the St Mary's side, and in terms of the um, the, the state of the St Mary's site, I haven't said and I've never said that the St Mary's site as it's currently configured is fit for purpose. And the plan would be to redevelop the St Mary's site. The most likely plan would be that we would build another tower on the St Mary's site adjacent to the QEQM uh, building and probably where the existing actual buildings and the car park is. That's the most likely plan. That's the, that forms the basis of discussions that we've had with local planners, and it forms the basis of discussions that we've had in terms of the development around Paddington, because there will be significant development around Paddington, the cross rail, network rail developments, and, and various other things that are potential, potentially likely to happen going forward. So we would be building significant new facilities on the site. In terms of the Samaritan, the problem with the, the Samaritan and Western Eye Hospital is they, they, they share the same services. And one of the reasons why the Samaritan, the, the Samaritan Hospital is still there is that all the services to, if you look at the, it's effectively one building, if you look at the building then the, the gas and all the, everything else that comes in there serves both buildings and it would not be economically viable to sell one bit or to re, regenerate one bit and to develop the other. And that's why when we looked at the options, the most viable option that can provide the services that we want to provide in a new building would be on the St Mary's site. The other point you asked was about um, the Charing Cross. Is there a plan to increase elective private surgery on that site? So it's important to put into context, and again I've said this before, our private income that we receive in this trust is the second highest in the NHS, that's a matter of public records, about £34 million per annum. And uh, we have a plan, we always have a plan, to increase the level of private sector income that we can do. And the reason that we want to do that is so that we can use that income to deliver greater services and an increased level of services to NHS patients. That, that's what we use that money for. It doesn't go anywhere other than being recycled to provide services. Now we're in an unfortunate position that uh, significant numbers of the population want to use our services on each of the sites, but predominantly on the Charing Cross and on the St Mary's site for private services, for, for private healthcare. And uh, we, we provide that service, we provide that service and we're not going to turn those patients away who pay 
for those services and that allows us to provide additional services for the NHS free at the point of delivery. There is no specific plan to increase those services on the Charing Cross site. Uh, in fact, the level of income that we've got from Charing Cross over recent years has actually reduced compared with the other sites. So there is no specific plan to increase that. There is no plan to provide private patient care on the Charing Cross site specifically at the um, specifically instead of NHS services. If we're going to provide private services going forward, then we would expect that the vast majority of those would continue to be on the St Mary's site. And a lot of us, a lot of that income uh, comes from embassies and is, and is overseas income. And, and we will be using that. Thank you, Bill. No, I'm, I'm one of the things I